Hey guys, so this is another one of those videos that has nothing to do with the actual scope of my channel, and that is the Premiere Pro freezing your computer uh, issue. Now, a little background on this. I built my own computer, um, so this issue is most likely going to affect other people who build their own computers because their main board comes with the core overclock feature enabled, or in my case, on auto. Now, more detail into the actual uh, program aspect, I was trying to render this video which is an hour and 11 minutes long and 35% into the rendering about that it would always crash. Now, crash meaning it would entirely freeze my computer, control out delete did not work, nothing worked. So what I basically did was I googled the issue with the Premiere Pro in mind but then I realized it could be my build. So I went and I looked up AMD FX9590 freezing issue and this user came up, Corey Cordell, with this video on my processor's freezing problem fix. Now what he um, show, uh, explains is basically that some motherboards come with core overclock enabled and that if you disable that then your processor will work fine. The reason why this happens is because the AMD FX9590 is essentially an AMD FX8350 that is overclocked. And when you have core overclock enabled, it gives the CPU more than the one and a half volts needed to run, um, to run it. And it essentially freezes your computer and, and whatnot. So in the next clip, I'll show you guys how I disabled, uh, it on my Gigabyte UD3 R3 mainboard. Alright, so we're at my computer right now, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it on so we can see what we need to do. Um, basically, you just go into the BIOS, so I'm just tapping the delete key, waiting for it to come up, there we go. Now, it brings you into the BIOS. I have a Gigabyte UD3 or UD5 R3 motherboard. Um, <clears throat> but you'll be able to figure out, if you built your own PC, you'll be able to figure out where your frequency settings is. So I just go into advanced frequency settings and then advanced CPU core features. And then this core performance boost, you just set that on to disabled. I had two options here. It was either auto or disabled and I disabled it and it worked fine. Now, the reason why this happens, especially on CPUs like the AMD FX9590, is because the AMD FX9590 is basically an overclocked 8350, um, which, knowing that now, I probably wouldn't have bought it, but it seemed pretty cool at the time, running at 4.7 gigahertz, um, not overclocked. And once you have this core performance boost uh, on, sometimes it gives the CPU more than 1.5 volts, which is more than what it can handle. So I found this out via a video that another user of YouTube put up, and um, I decided to make this video specifically for Premiere Pro, especially for those who built their own PC with the ability to overclock, to show them that overclocking using Premiere for Premiere Pro is not the best idea. So this is just another one of those videos that will you know, help you, hopefully, if you have this issue. Alright, I uh, hope that helps you guys out with your Premiere Pro freezing problem. Um, just a little side note, I do still love my AMD FX 9590 processor. I mentioned before that I probably wouldn't have got it if I knew it was overclocked 8320, but that might be a lie because I really do like the CPU a lot. It renders videos so fast and it does, it loads literally Excel in like a second. That was on another monitor, but I'll show you again if uh, it loads up on this monitor. See, it literally rendered that in a second, partially because of my SSD, but also because it's a fast processor. I mean, it's a really good CPU, so I'm not bashing the CPU by any means. I've always loved AMD over Intel, but this is kind of an issue. One of the 
comments about this process are actually on the forums was if you have this uh uh, overclocking core feature on it's like a toothpick on a fighter jet or something like that I don't know but I, I just don't want to bash the CPU as a whole it's really good and I'd recommend it to people so uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a good day